Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back, and I just wanted to come and run my mouth and talk about some people. Now, before we get into this mess, my hoodie came in, y'all. Let me show y'all. All right. <laughs> Was that necessary? No. <laughs> Can I say something? Hoodies available now. Hoodie sweatshirts. Um, why do we say why Why do we say hoodies and sweatshirts? Because quite as just kept it's both. I mean, to me, a hoodie and a sweatshirt. I mean, okay, it got a hood, <laughs> but I mean, I guess, girl. Anyways, we have hoodies and sweatshirts, um, t-shirts available uh, at www.rodneythevoice.com. Um, I'll put the link in the description box. All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and get into this mess. So Chloe Bailey speaks on a controversial swarm scene. I was doing my job. So <laughs> Chloe Bailey may be the topic of discussion following her steamy scene in Swarm, but the singer is not bothered one bit by the backlash. Um, the Half Mercy singer sat down, excuse me, with Big Boy's Neighborhood, uh, where she addressed the scene with Damson Idris. That's, that's the guy that's dating um, Laurie, right? Um, while the world might be in shock, Bailey says she simply showed up to work. I was doing my job, the 24-year-old stated. The Grammy-nominated artist says she wasn't revealing anything that her fans have never seen before from her. On set, Bailey's top half was covered, while only her thighs and bottom por uh, portion partially exposed. Um, I think she said, I think people, gotta, uh, I think people just got to remember I'm an adult and I'm an artist. Um, on a separate chat with Deadline, Bailey shared that uh, Idris made her feel comfortable while shooting her first love scene. She did confirm there was a ball in between them, which prevented any skin-to-skin -skin action. Um, glad to know that Bailey was comfortable in the moment, given the think pieces and disdain that followed. Girl, let me just say this. <laughs> I remember when the show first came out, when I tell y'all, I don't know if it was y'all, some of y'all, <laughs> girl. The way the people were acting a fool <laughs> on Twitter, uh, in the comment sections, I really thought that, girl, I'm thinking that Chloe was in there. I'm thinking, girl, I'm like, girl, what does Miss think? <laughs> You're like, you know, I, 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 I will say this much. In all honesty, I have my own little, you know, critiques on you know, Chloe, um, you know, but we can save that for another video. You know, I, I, I'm still a fan of hers. Um, she's a young woman, I think, just doing, just, just go, you know, she's just doing her thing. Um, but <laughs> I was like, well, girl, the way that people are reacting, I'm thinking mama is busting it open. Like, girl, I'm thinking I'm going to like, I'm, I'm like, oh my God, like, girl, what's she, you know, because one of the one of the things that people have been saying about Chloe is though she she comes across as um kind of like too thirsty uh when it comes to like trying to show this sexy side of her, right? I can be honest, you know, even though I'm a fan of hers, um just because you're a fan of people don't mean that you should not be honest. Y'all do know that, right? Um but at first, it didn't bother me, and then I was like, I started kind of seeing what people were saying. Like, everything was always, <laughs> like, like she would be singing a song online. <laughs> like, she would be singing, what song did she sing? I think that, uh, love you is easy. But, girl, she was singing it. It was one song she was singing, and this is how she'd be singing a song <laughs> I'd be like, girl, what did you do? Love you. It was easy because you're beautiful. And let me tell you my life. It's been a love of you.
Girl, and I used to be like, girl. <laughs> Even I used to be like, girl, what is going on? So, you know, I, I you know, I understand some of the critiques of Chloe. I really, really do. Um, I also think that some people just don't like the fact that Chloe is growing up. Um and that Chloe is embracing her womanhood. Um, and she is going up about a different route. Some would consider a different route than some of the other girls. Sometimes the girls kind of ease in, ease on into it. Chloe really was just like, bam, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, you know, when, I, when, when this show came out, Swarm, I was really shocked at how many people were like hyping this up. So I'm like, well, girl, let me go see what, the, what they talking about. So I hopped on Twitter because everything going to be on Twitter. I hopped on Twitter. Girl, I watched that scene for about seven seconds. And girl, I heard some moaning. I saw a girl standing in the hallway. I don't know who the girl was. And he was behind her, doggy style, basically. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. Girl. I just, <laughs> girl, I was disgusted with, with a lot of y'all. Whoever was hyped, I'm like, girl, y'all really was like acting like this girl was like, girl literally had his penis down her throat. <laughs> That's the way the comments were going. Shout out to Bailey. I wish nothing but the best for uh for Bailey. I think she's a dope girl. You know, she, you know, she I mean, you know, she she got that song with y'all homeboy. But other than that, girl, we're not going to get worked up because, like I said, girl, March the 31st, I already got the album downloaded. I'm just waiting for it to down. You know how, like, you can download it, but you wait for it to hit. So, girl, I'm already prepared. So, shout out to Chloe. Oh, girl. This is an update on Fu uh, Fuji's member prize. Um, stands trial for conspiracy and other charges facing decades in prison if convicted. As previously reported, this is according to the Jasmine brand. Fuji's member Praz is facing some serious charges, including conspiracy, um, witness tampering, and failing to register as an agent of China. If convicted, he's looking at decades behind bars. According to reports, jury selection and Praz's long um, awaited trial is set to kick off today, March the 27th, in the federal courthouse in Washington, D.C. You may recall that the Grammy-winning musician was among those the Justice Department said were tied to fugitive businessman Jolo. <laughs> I don't know how to say these people's name. The 1MDB, a wealth fund tax that was promoting economic development in Malaysia. Um, prosecutors John Keller, Sean Muller... <laughs> Girl, I don't know these people that Sean and Nicole. Girl, look, the prosecutors, John, Sean, and Nicole, okay, um, spoke on Prize case and said the defendant uh, received over $100 million of, um, from Joe Lowe. Girl, I don't know these people that got me messing these people's names up. A foreign fugitive responsible for one of the largest embezzlement schemes in history to use back channel influence to, conv to convince the then president of the United States to drop a federal investigation. Girl, he sound like he's the only one that need to be going to jail. Oh, girl. I mean, what else can you say? Girl. Kim Kardashian accused of exploiting her children after filing trademarks for toy and skin care line on a Northwest name. Um, Kim Kardashian is being criticized as she steps into her momager role. The reality star turned entrepreneur is facing backlash after seemingly taking notes from her mother slash manager Kris Jenner as she helps her own daughter Northwest step into the world of business. Kim Kardashian has reportedly filed four new trademarks under Northwest's name in order for her nine-year-old to launch her skincare and toy lines. Reportedly, the trademark filing says that North's toy business We'll have toy figures, doll accessories, dolls, doils, dolls, drawing toys, drawing toys, infant toys, and girl, and other stuff, girl. The toy line will focus on children's educational toys for developing fine motor and cognitive skills, music, musical toys. Girl, she getting a whole, it's a whole bunch of stuff, girl. 
The details of the filings also state that Kim Kardashian filed two trademarks for skincare merchandise and two other uh, relating to promotion and entertainment services. Since the filings have been publicized, there have been talks of Kim exploiting Northwest for her own financial benefits. With many social media, media users claiming a minor being the face of a skincare company is ridiculous. Um, the outrage behind North running a skincare company appears to stem from arguments that acne more than likely won't occur until an in individual hits puberty. Pu 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 puberty. Pu pu puberty. Girl, it's, girl, it's 3.29 in the morning, y'all. I'm sleepy. Um, and the young socialite has yet to do so. Oh, girl, this is what some of y'all are saying. Um, I can understand the toy line, but a skincare line is kind of ridiculous for a nine-year-old. Someone else wrote, even a toy line doesn't make sense, to be honest. I've never seen North playing with toys. <laughs> You're quiet, it's because I ain't never seen her play with no toys either. Um, someone else wrote, maybe toys is cute, but nobody, but nobody buying skincare from a nine-year-old. This is what I have to say. No, I don't. I, I, I girl, it, 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 you got nine year olds out there who don't even wear deodorant yet. So you know, I don't know. I, I, I'm not mad. I'm just gonna be honest with y'all, girl. I'm not mad at it. Like, girl, this woman just setting up her, setting up her children so the money continues. Girl, that's the whole purpose of this whole situation. Girl, generational wealth, generational wealth, generational wealth, generational wealth. Even if she's setting up something for when North turns a teenager, what's wrong with that? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong with Kim setting up a skincare line in North's name? So when North does turn uh, a teenager, she could possibly come out. Everything is already set up. I'm not mad at it. I'm not. I'm honestly not. I don't know why anybody would have a problem with what Kim is doing. It's not like she's coming out with a skincare line tomorrow. And even if she did, what if it's just like some little lotions? What if it's just some little, you know, chapstick or lip gloss? I don't know. A toy line. Yeah, we've never seen we've never seen North play with toys, but girl, we don't know what North be doing over there at that house. <laughs> girl, like I think sometimes we think that because we see moments of these folks' lives, right? We think we see everything, and that's not the case. Like I'm not mad at Kim, girl. Set your daughters up, set your children up for for success. That's what they're supposed to do. That's what your mom and dad is supposed to do. Set you up for success. You don't have to worry about a thing in the world, right? Jen Shaw's sentence reduced by one year, plus her lawyer gives update on her status, says reality TV star is committed to uh, towards making her victims whole. Girl, let me tell you, I saw this earlier. I think I saw it on All True T. <laughs> and when I tell you, I thought they meant, girl, I said, no, this helper did not. Girl, I, girl, I was reading, you know, sometimes you just read, you know, I was reading too fast. And I thought they said that her sentence had been pushed down to like, a, like she was only have to do a year. Girl, I said, man, what in the white woman? Girl. No, but girl, she still ain't getting out until 2020, uh, 2028. According to um, the Federal uh, Bureau of Prisons inmate database, um, the Star 49 is, is now scheduled to be, to be released on August the 30th, 2028, one year earlier than her original sentence. Um... A rep for Jen Shaw said, I have spoken with my client, Jen Shaw, over the phone this week. She's doing well and remains committed. Girl, Jen been, Jen been in jail for three days. <laughs> Girl, y'all swear. Jen did about five years already, child. Um, and remains committed towards making her victims whole. Um, she has initiated her payments toward, towards restitution. Um, and we hope to have her home as soon as possible so that she may resume life with her family and work. Putting this chapter of life behind her, um, as previously reported, uh, the entertainer was uh, the Bravo entertainer was sentenced to six and a half years in prison after pleading guilty to participating in a telemarketing scheme. Reportedly, Jen Shaw targeted and scammed millions of dollars 
for mostly elderly individuals. That's what makes it so messy. I'm not saying it's right to steal from young people because it's wrong to steal, period, across the board. But it, it just it, it just adds another, it, it just becomes even more disgusting and trifling and tied and through when you add in the fact that, girl, you were getting over old people. You know what I'm saying? Like, girl, these people who are probably on fixed incomes, you know what I'm saying, probably living off their little Social Security check, probably, you know, just don't probably have a lot of money. Even if they did, that don't mean you're supposed to steal it, you know? Um, but it just, adds a, it just adds a whole nother layer to it. And it's just disgusting. I told y'all, and y'all know what I'm about to say. I remember when Real Housewives of Salt Lake City first came out, I was one of the ones who was like, what did this lady do? <laughs> Girl, you know, because I be one, when I be sitting, let me say something. When the people be like, look, 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 If you're going to be out on Instagram, listen. If you're going to be out on Instagram, if you're going to be out on YouTube, if you're going to be out on reality TV showing your life, and girl, it's a, it, you got this extravagant, over-the-top lifestyle. I'm going to be asking where you get your money from. <laughs> so when Jen was out on the TV, girl, taking hell of shopping in Las Vegas, girl, what, what, and it was like a little boutique that was shut down. I said, girl, what? Girl, where is and y'all talking about Coach Shaw with his fine self. Ooh, hey, Coach Shaw. Um, he a coach. Now, I ain't trying to say coaches are broke, but y'all ain't making that much money. <laughs> Girl, not for the lifestyle Jen was living. Jen was living good. I'm talking, and I'm saying, when I say living good, I'm talking about girl designer on top of design. Not like a few pieces. Girl, not like a few pieces. I'm talking about designer on top of designer, jewelry. And then when she got to the reunion, girl, she couldn't even really explain what she did for work. Well, I'm going to say this much. I didn't understand what she was explaining uh, that she did for work. And I was like, girl, what is she talking about? I was like, what did she say? I don't even know what she said. I think Heather was trying to help her explain what, what she did. But it is what it is, child. Jen is a mess. I don't feel sorry for her. You know how much of a narcissist you have to be? That's why I don't be understanding y'all. Let me shut up, y'all. I don't be not y'all, not y'all. But I don't understand people that 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 scam and steal and then have the nerve to girl flaunt your life all over the world. Why web? Well, I don't understand. Like I don't like I, when I don't understand it. Like I don't understand it like i just don't i would think that girl if you know that you are living a life of girl fraudulent girl i can think of the word i wanted to say if you're living a fraudulent lifestyle girl i would not think that you would want to be on instagram girl if that's what you're doing that's what you're doing girl i can't do nothing about it girl but girl i wouldn't suggest that you don't get on instagram and flaunt i would suggest you don't be on youtube Girl, with a YouTube channel flaunt, girl, I would suggest that you not be on Instagram or Twitter or Snapchat. I would think that you would want to live a low, 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 like almost you don't even don't even exist life. You know what I'm saying? That's why when y'all when you got. You got Jen getting on TV. You got Apollo and Phaedra, allegedly. <laughs> um, who else? Who else got on TV and, got, and then got caught? Who else? I know it's somebody else. Oh, you had Teresa and Joe. I don't think Teresa really knew. I think Teresa was just, you know, following the lead of her husband. Girl, I thought that miss girl. She was following her husband, and he led her ass into prison. Girl, y'all gonna stop? Girl, you ain't got no fucking brain. Y'all gonna stop acting like just because you got a man and you ain't got no fucking brain? <laughs> just signing your just signing your life away. That this was, this was Teresa the whole time. Just right here, Joe. You said sign right here and sign right here, Joe. You said my thumb, you said you need my thumbprint too? What am I signing? 
You said it's okay? Okay. Tariq, you said my initials, Joe? Just signed her whole life away. Ended up in prison. A mess. And how she got there? Her husband. Girl. Anyway, shout them y'all men. Ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> I be cracking myself up. I be cracking myself up, girl. Anyways, child, um, I'm gone. I'm about to uh, eat. I, girl, I got some pickles in the um, refrigerator. I'm about to eat me a pickle and um, watch a little bit of TV. And then I'm going to head to bed because I'm getting kind of sleepy. All right. And girl, it's 3.40 in the morning, child. All right. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.